board uh, is one vote away from putting a levy on the November ballot. Valerie Miller is covering Butler Warren News now with how the upgrades will actually save the district money in the long run. Friends Will and Peyton enjoy their summertime fun on the playground. A short distance away at their school, North Elementary, major improvements are taking shape. One of the major upgrades will be air conditioning. Assistant Superintendent for Business Chad Lewis shows how the classrooms and hallways are a mess as crews tear out the ceilings to install the wiring and ductwork necessary to cool the entire building. Here and at West Elementary, the buildings also will get new windows and energy efficient lights. The work is possible through a loan from the state of Ohio. The district borrows the money at a very low interest rate and then uses the savings on utility costs to pay off the loan over the next 15 years. In my mind, this is a, a project that has been a long time in the waiting and we should have done it. We need to do it. It isn't going to cost the taxpayers additional dollars. All of these kids remember well those hot days at North. Well, that I was sweating when I needed to do my work. I was so sweating I couldn't do it. Their moms see a definite connection between building upgrades and academics. Good news to hear that they're, you know, um, putting that money to good use in the older buildings and the kids would be more um, comfortable in doing their studies. As taxpayers, they see the work as an investment in the future. They're being smart right. with their money right. and realizing what the savings will be to then pay off the loan for the upgrades. Right. That's, that's being budget conscious and being smart. That was Valerie Miller reporting. Before